I thought it was shooting video. Found out my camera went to sleep mode for no apparent reason. You have to keep an eye on it. So that's the west end of Ova's Cave. And up here, it connects. So I think this is officially Ova's Cave too. I'm not sure. The trail here isn't very good. What's funny, there is a trail down below. Just gotta very carefully walk down here. Okay, I thought I already got this part on camera, but like I said, my camera glitched. So look, I'm in the upper level of Ovis Cave. There's a bar so you don't fall down. Here's a dead end. Okay, so here's a trail. Excuse me. Gonna keep following this cave. See what happens. Notice there's an upper level here, but I'm pretty sure it's a dead end, so I'm not gonna bother to go up there. But I do want to show you something cool. Look how rough the ceiling is. And there's a very tight way up out of there. Too small for people. But there's another cave or something up there. But notice how the wall is much smoother down here. Interesting. This is weird. Some trip hazards on the trail here. Notice there's a nice big well to draw here. I could go around to the right or the left. Look how the ceiling's got some nice sharp rocks on it. Ooh, ah. Uh. It's a little bit tight on this side. It would have been easier to go to the left, but I'm expecting to come back this way, so. Yeah, see, there's the way I came in. Look how perfectly straight the walkway is, like a perfectly cut trench. They put some thought into this trail. Look how the cave is nice and wide here. Look how the rock is mostly gray. It's got all sorts of other colors and shapes. Very pretty. Good thing I'm not tall enough to hit my head on the ceiling. Interesting shape, a little bit of a dome shape. Okay, that's the way it came from. Here's another little dome shaped ceiling. I'm not sure, I think this is probably outgassing, you know, sulfur comb. Oh, I found a closed cave, interesting. For the record, I have no idea where I am. Okay. But maybe that red will be a clue. Wait a minute. We're near, this isn't Sentinel. Okay. 
So look at this. There's stairs wherever I am in the lower level. Oh, this is cool. Some moth on the ceiling right there. All right, let me very carefully go through here. I forgot the name of this cave. I know I've been in this cave before. Oh, wow. <laughs> Neat. Okay, so check it out. There's the stairs down. That's where I just came from. Oh, so this is Paradise Alleys. Okay, cool. Hmm. Okay, so notice though, I'm at a middle level because there's stairs going up to yet another level. Okay, I'm going to go back this way to the right. Do this middle level. And then I'll do the upper level. So this, this cave here, Paradise Alley. I was going to do Ovis Bridge and Paradise Alley separate. I couldn't remember how they were connected. See, there's a three-way. I can go straight through here. I can go through here. There's plenty to keep going right to go through uh, counterclockwise. So, all right, here we go. Interesting. Oh, cool. Looks like there's a way out here. I'm gonna go briefly over here to see what's going on. Oh yeah, that's just a dead end. Never mind. All right. Okay. So there's the way I came from. There's the way back out. Let me go over here. <clears throat> Oh yeah, see? If you're feeling really ambitious, you can climb back there. That's too small for me. Actually, it's probably too small for anybody, but hey, I won't stop you from trying. Here's another place where the ceiling is shaped like a dome and there's all sorts of nasty stuff on the ceiling. Rocks. Who would have guessed there'd be rocks in a cave? What's funny here, the trail loops around and goes back. I'm gonna real quickly like, I wanna go outside, see where we are. They ask us to stay on the trail if there is one, but we're allowed to explore the cave. So I'm gonna go off trail, see where I am. Especially since there's a little nook. Oh, wow. Yeah, another little dead end back there. A little too tight for me. But anyway, looks like it doesn't go very far anyway. Yeah, what's funny, I went in here through Ovis Cave. I have no idea where that is yet, but okay. So that's where I just came out. Looks like there's a little secret passage there. Here's the way back in. That's definitely the way I want to go. Wow.
Excuse me. It's a little bit slippery up here. All right. Notice the rocks that got stuff growing on it. There's like orange stuff growing here, green stuff growing here. It's not even moss, it's just lichen, I think. It's a little bit wet and slippery here. I have to be careful not to fall down. There's a little bit of moss too. Let's see. Okay, this is weird. E2. I don't remember ever noticing that before. That's why I like to go through these caves every once in a while. Instead of like trying to follow a map or follow the same thing I did last time. Just kind of wander around like I'm lost. So I find different stuff each time. Just like, you know, go to Disneyland. One time I'll go in, go through clockwise. Next time I'll go in, go counterclockwise. The other time I'll go in straight to the best rides. Let's make it different. Let me make sure I'm at the brightest setting. Okay, here we go. Okay, here's that three-way. So I turned over that way last time. Weird, you can barely make out metal ahead. Those are the two stairs, one going down, one going up. I came from up, I mean, sorry, I came from down. So, I said I'm gonna do this level first and then I'll go to the top level. Here's a spot where the ceiling's broken. There's like a secret upper area there. Big enough for small animals, maybe. So far all I've seen is a moth. Officially. Oh wow, here's a pillar. Go around to the right or to the left? Well, they ask us to stay on the trail, but so I'll go ahead and go left, but look at this. There's another place where the ceiling's elevated. A dome. It's basically a golden dome got its name because they really are domes. And then of course it's golden because of the bacteria, hydrophilic, hydrophobic bacteria. Oh, wow. Hang on a second. I need to check this out. Look at how it's wavy there at the bottom and then rough at the top. But in between, looks like there might be a way up. Oh, wow. Just a little bit. But look at this. Look how dark it is up here. It's funny. It goes pretty far back there. Too small for people, but I bet you bats and birds or whatever can go up there. Cool. All righty then. <laughs> Okay, so this is the official entrance to Paradise Alleys. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn around because I haven't done the upper level yet. And that's without that far underground. From here, the ceiling's only like 10 feet thick. And yet we know there is a ladder to an upper level. There's that word again, heavy. Like I said, you can go around this pillar to the left, but there's a trail to the right. So I'll go ahead and just stay on the trail. Notice how it looks like the rock is made of horizontal layers here. Interesting. Oh, 
like how it's like alternating gray, white, gray, white, and then up here, gray, brown. Fascinating. Excuse me. All right. All right, here's the stairs to the upper level. Let's see if I can get lost, shall we? It's funny, it looked like it was going to go to the right. It was the dead end. And there's another place where the cave bulges up. Looks like there's a trail through here. Wait, this isn't Garden Bridges, is it? We'll go ahead and follow it. I got five flashlights with me. Huh. Okay, there's no sign over there. What's weird, it looks like the trail goes for a little bit and then it's just gone. Hmm. Looks like there's another cave over there. But I want to do this one cave at a time. What's funny too, look at this. Looks like there's a way down there too. But I think that's the lower level that's closed. So I'm not going to bother going in there because I don't want to accidentally sneak into the wrong tube. I'll look at the map and see if that's something interesting. Okay, so here I'm at the upper level to Paradise Alleys. Looking at all sorts of little nooks and crannies. Crannies and nooks. Nooks and nooks. Stuff like that. Oh wow, I didn't notice this before, but where a ceiling bulges up, there's a tiny upper level. It's too small for people, but there could be baths or something up there. Wow, nice. There's the stairs going down to the middle level, the entrance level. Hmm. Oops. I should ask the rangers how often they check for bats. From Basically from what I heard, the bats, they go to three different caves, like one to hibernate, one to raise their young, and then one in the summer if it gets too hot. But I don't know exactly when they switch over. Okay, here are the stairs. You can't tell. These are steep. Notice to the left, we're not allowed down there. That's why I didn't try going that one way. Because so I think it connects. Probably means there's bats over there. Oops, darn it. <laughs> Accidentally came out down a little too fast. Looks like I'm gonna be able to do both Paradise Alleys and Ovis Cave in uh, one video. The video is limited to half an hour. It's stupid. If you shoot an MPEG, it records four gigabyte files, but it'll keep going forever. You shoot an MOV file, it'll go for half an hour nonstop, one big file, and then it will stop. It's like, why not keep going, man? It works for MPEG. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, P technology keeps improving, but in some ways it's still just infancy. There's so many little annoyances, like, so obvious that they haven't even thought about it. It's like, come on. 
nice round rock in the walkway there. I went around to the other side this time before, tighter. Okay, here's that balcony. So officially we're in Paradise Alleys right now. And then down there is officially Ovis Cave. So, first I just gotta go up over this little hill. As you can see, sort of like a trail right here. It's like they almost connected the two caves and gave up or something. Oh, this is interesting. As long as you're here. So notice the sign over there, cave closed. So whatever cave that is, if this is Ovis Cave, that might be Ovis Bridge. I don't think it's Garden Bridges. I think Garden Bridges is back the other way. Oh well. But that's one reason it's better to come back to this place like at least four times. Once in the winter, once in the spring, once in the summer, and once in the fall. So you'll get to explore every cave that's open. Fortunately, you're not going to see post office cave, not the lower levels. Oh well. So there's that lookout balcony where I just was. Yeah, I heard they closed post office cave just because it's too hard. They don't want people to get themselves stuck in there. Considering the entrance I saw, I see their point. Excuse me. If I knew the cave was going to be this big, I would have brought a bigger light. Oh well. There's a hole in the wall back there. Alright. 
Wow, these steps are steep. A little bit of walk, work, walking up here. Boy, it sure smells good out here though. It rained, so it smells fresh. All right, there we are. There's the entrance to Ovis Cave.